reason we went with the Premier were radius windows, slam latches with magnetic catch, the outdoor kitchen, the center island, and the radius nose cap with the wraparound sides. The floor plan is spacious for a couple but still has extra bedding for when you may have guests. The unit is equipped with a single 15,000 BTU ducted air conditioner. I don't regret not getting the second AC, but I do regret not getting the prep package which would have upgraded the unit to a 50 amp power supply. You have to be careful about which items you run to make sure you don't exceed 30 amps. As you can see from our prior surge protector, we didn't realize we were going over and overheated the plug a little bit. The unit is out during the summer months, but uh, six months when we're not using it during the winter months, it is kept inside in the storage building. I do detail it quite often and it gets waxed almost every trip before it goes out. We've had one recall the first year for the wiring on the AC and another for the fire extinguisher that came with the unit. Beside that, it has never been to the shop once for any warranty issues. We went to the shop at the beginning of the fifth season to repack the bearings, inspect the brakes, inspect and seal the roof, and have new tires installed. I normally inspect and seal the roof, but thought it would be good to have another set of eyes check it for once. Climbing theater seats, this is one of the few issues we have found so far. The material is starting to crack and separate at the end of the fourth season. Um, Continued trying to treat it, it hasn't gotten real bad, but it's uh, obviously not right. The painted front cap is nice, but you can see it's prone to rock chips. Think about applying a rubberized truck bed coating to the bottom third of the cap to clean it up a little bit. Not sure if the camera is picking it up, but the front decals are starting to fail. The decal is discoloring and starting to crack near the top. Unit has cable slides on both sides. Um, we've heard of issues with cables fraying and breaking, but we've not seen those issues yet. The only issue we have had is the rubber bumps that are between the frame and the cable brackets. The factory units fell apart on the second season, so I did a quick fix at a campground with a heavy rubber, using rubber cement to bond them in place. The orange ones that are on there now were just installed before we went to Colorado, and they've got about 4,000 miles on them. As you can see, they're ready to be replaced again soon. One of our must-haves was slam latches with magnetic catches. Uh, there's lighting in the storage area and you can see the aluminum structure there under the, uh, the queen bed in the front. Electric awning with LED strip lighting on the exterior of the camper. Six gallon dual source water heater. Another of our must-haves were the radius windows. Outdoor kitchen with small refrigerator, TV, and a storage cabinet, and also a pull-out worktop. Optional barbecue mount on rear bumper scissor jacks, then I added the lock arms from BAL which work great. Large window in the rear living area. Three fold out steps, these are a little weak but we haven't had any issues yet. There's a gas shock on the entry door to keep it from hitting the awning arm on this unit. A small coat closet by the entrance. Out storage underneath the dinette seats. We love this because it's easy to get the items in and out. Climbing theater seats. Sofa with trifold bed and uh, has that little extra storage underneath.
The camper has loads of cabinet space, which is a great problem to have. It has a small microwave, but it gets the job done. Loads of pantry space. Kind of loves having the center island as it adds three drawers and three cabinets underneath for additional storage. This also means you cannot access the rear of the trailer when both slides are in. One of the reasons we picked this floor plan is the fact that the refrigerator and one of the pantry cabinets are ahead of the slides, which means you can load and unload without opening up the trailer. You also have full access to the bathroom and bedroom without opening the slides. The unit's equipped with an 8 cubic foot refrigerator with a top mount freezer. The unit does work on both electric and propane. The bathroom has a plastic toilet, a vanity, and medicine cabinet. It does lack bathroom storage for towels and toiletries. did have to replace the factory water faucet on the sink on the second year because the original did not shut off completely and drip through the night. It has an angled shower which works, but the newer radius shower seems like they have a little bit more room in them. There is a small exhaust fan in the bathroom, but we would prefer a fantastic fan in our next unit. The bedroom does have hookups for a third TV. Control panel for the unit. The only issue we have is sometimes we push the slide button when we're hunting for a light switch in the dark. The unit is equipped with electronic thermostat that controls both the furnace and AC. The unit is equipped with wide stance axles. This does help to eliminate sway when traveling. We do use the X shocks also when set up. It helps control movement in the trailer. We also just upgraded the factory tires on the fifth year to the Goodyear Endurance that are made here in the USA. The unit is equipped with an outside shower. There are three handles for dumping the holding tanks. There's one for the black and there's two grays. One of them is for the bathroom, the shower, and the sink, and the other is for the galley, the kitchen sink. We did have a slide cover installed when we purchased the unit. I would advise to ask for it to be slightly longer than the slide. Ours is the same width and rain does tend to blow up under it during storms. We always use our surge guard. This provides surge protection as well as over and under voltage protection and detects if the plug's getting hot and shuts down automatically if needed. We've been very happy with the unit so far and hope to get many more years of use out of it before purchasing another.